set a timer for 10 minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, 10 minutes and 30 seconds and counting. What's up, buddies? Welcome to what I think a lot of you guys kind of knew based off of the last FIFA 21 Ultimate Team video. Uh, you kind of knew what was coming. I've been rethinking um, the thought process for content this year for my FIFA 21 Ultimate Team experience. Um, I've kind of been looking at a lot of my mentions on Twitter, a lot of my mentions on the YouTube comments, uh, and to be fair, a lot of the Twitch commentary as well. Um, it's no surprise that everybody knows me and my grinding for uh, the Poor Man Road to Glory, a no FIFA point, FIFA Ultimate Team grind. Um, sure, I may have started out my YouTube career and even my Twitch career with having just a lot of players and just opening packs, doing whatever. But realistically, um, I've kind of been known for that over the last six years. So because I haven't started a Poor Man Road to Glory at the start of the year, uh, everybody seems to be very confused about that. Uh, now, in the last couple of days, I've also started soul searching and thinking, well, if I want to have fun with this game through the course of the year, am I going to have fun if within the first week I have absolutely everything, even if I am going to do player reviews? And part of me is thinking, maybe not. So... What this uh, day off scheduled video is, and this is exactly that, it's it's my day off right now. This should be uploaded Monday morning Pacific Standard Time, uh, Monday like early afternoon UK, probably like a 3 p.m. upload, just a scheduled upload, because I want to pose this question to you guys. Um, there is no chance a no FIFA point poor man road to glory starts for the launch of FIFA October 9th, which is in what, like three, four days. Um, the reason there's no chance for that is because I have an account where I bought FIFA points two years ago on, on my FUT Founder account. And as you guys saw for the ultimate road to glory, it's an account that I've already started investing, grinding, opening the packs. You know, we've hit Neymar, all of that. So I've got that account. I don't want to just throw that account away, especially because those were FIFA points that I purchased ages ago and I want to get some use out of them. Um, and I'm just not going to leave that account and then go start a no FIFA point poor man road to glory on the poor man account because I want to do that for team of the season. Um, so the problem there is what are the options? The options are keeping to keeping running a rich man road to glory, um, which is what I'm doing and just enjoying my experience with the game. And then come team of the season, we start the poor man road to glory. However, been having some pretty heavy discussions and uh, for those of you guys that do still watch my youtube fifa ultimate team daily d video experiences if you will or the ultimate road to glory at the tail end of the video i started posing that question and then telling you guys that this would be the standalone video um for exactly the the discussion a couple of years ago we tried to start a player focused poor man road to glory so for those of you that will remember FIFA 18 or 17, we started a Dino to Glory, where we get ourselves a um, uh, Ronaldinho from the start of the game, and then we start with a poor man, like bronzes and nothing else in the club. Zero things in the club. It's basically a Dino, poor man road to glory. Now the reason, as a lot of you guys I'm sure will be saying, that that didn't really succeed is because I was also at the same time running a, I think it was a poor man road to glory or a pack only rich man road to glory at the same time. So once again, I was running two accounts. I was spending like 18 hours a day or 15 hours a day trying to do content for both series. Um, and it just, it was just an absolute nightmare. Very similarly, last year, the two hour a day poor man road to glory um, was a thought process series that I started alongside also running a rich man road to glory. Uh, and that failed as well, because as always, I am an insane grinder. Whether I'm running a rich man, whether I'm running a poor man, whatever I'm doing, I put like my full effort into it. So last year, that lasted all of a month because I was trying to get all my weekend league games in on the two hour day poor man road to glory. I was trying to get all of my weekend league games on the rich man, trying to get a lead on the rich man, which we did for four weeks straight on the rich man last year. Um, 
And then that had to stop because I just hated everything. And I ended up deleting the Rich Man account because I was so irritated with having to play 60 games of Weekend League or whatever it was. And I wanted to make a stand because I thought FIFA sucked last year, uh, gameplay wise, and EA were frauds selling us a lie. Um, nevertheless, it brings me to this point where I am not opposed to the idea of doing a no FIFA point poor man RTG from the start of the year. So the problem with that is, as I've mentioned earlier, I have an account where I've spent a lot of time and I've got old purchased FIFA points on it that I essentially at this point, I'm going to have a big chunk of coins to do something with. So if you are excited at the idea of maybe a player focused poor man road to glory. So we pick up one marquee player and then delete everything else from the club. So the club is basically as if I were to log into a fresh, no FIFA point poor man road to glory, but I was lucky enough to have like a Ronaldinho or a Rude Hullet or a Cruyff from a welcome back, a quote, let's call it untradeable pack. And then the stipulation for the no FIFA point poor man road to glory for the for the year. A few years ago, we did first owner, right? You know, last year we tried a two hour a day. Um, this year, Nep's doing a first owner as his poor man road to glory stipulation. So the stipulation would be that player, whoever we do the series around, would end up being always in the team. They would have to be in the team. Can't sell them, obviously, to, to get a million or coins or 10 million coins to then ru completely ruin the series anyways. So it would basically be a player-focused poor man RTG. The only rule is it's no FIFA points and a poor man road to glory grind. That's the only rule. And the player has to be in every squad we put together. So if you're excited about that, because that is realistically the only way a poor man road to glory will come back, smash the like button. If I see an exorbitant amount of likes on the video, I'll know that like, maybe that's something that you guys are interested with. I'm not even going to give you guys the option of just me starting a no FIFA point road to glory, but poor man road to glory. Cause from now, because it's not going to happen. Um, and then let me know in the comments section, if you like the idea, what the positives, what the negatives are. I'm going to post this video on Monday. If I remember, because obviously my day off, I'm taking the kids to school and help Steph around the house. Going to try and catch up with business stuff the charity stream is a couple days away so i'll try and remember not only to look at the comment section and, and the likes obviously of this video um but i'm also going to post it to twitter so people can reply via twitter and i'm going to continue having that discussion with my twitch chat as well so smash the like button fill the comment section if you are excited about that as a concept where basically we do this so we start with a Rude Hullet as our marquee player. And we have zero coins in the club, nothing in the club. And we have a starter bronze squad. Essentially, a, just a starter team that you would use to log in. Just for ease of use, it would just be the, this team so that we can at least just start, right? Like start um, uh, getting our games in. I mean, I'm not, I'm not opposed either to having zero coins and just having whatever crap bronze players I have in the club right now. I don't really care. I know how to start an account. I'm not, I'm not against just having garbage players. I don't think many people would care if this was basically the, uh, the, the starting squad or not. So this is going to be the idea. The only other issue is I've been so efficient with the purchase of FIFA points and stuff. Uh, sorry, the, pur the, the purchase of players and investing is that I have barely touched the FIFA points that we have had on this account for two, three years. And we're already at like eight or nine million coins. I think Rude Hull is like six or seven million right now. So the other discussion point is if this poor man road to glory, this poor man rude to glory, this poor man road to glory, no FIFA points, but with Hullet in the team forever, is most likely gonna have another like eight million coins. So I don't know what to he the hell to do with that. Um, and that's the only other thing. I don't want to have those coins, obviously, right? Otherwise, there's no point in calling this a poor man road to glory. And there's no point in doing a poor man road to glory. If I have Hullet, but then we also have another 10 million coins. So what the idea might be is for the charity stream coming up. So this series, this poor man road to glory, this poor man rude to glory, or this 
poor man Dino to glory, whatever we end up choosing. We don't start it. If the, if the, if the feedback is good, if the likes are crazy, if the comments are like, okay, well, I wish you were just doing a no FIFA point RTG, poor man RTG, but this Hullet and poor man RTG is cool or this, whatever you're going to do RTG is cool. If the, if the, if the positivity is there, I think what the plan will be is we'll start the poor man road to glory, um, after the charity stream. So I will have the charity stream, the event, we're raising money for uh, cancer research. I'll be able to just use this account the way I want to use it. Obviously, I won't have Hullet. Um, and then we'll use up the FIFA points. Um, and there you go, the timer. That's 10 minutes of this epi. Dude, I feel like I'm only in the intro. That's a true poor man right there, Nick 28T intro, where the entire video should technically be done now. And I feel like I'm only getting started with this conversation. But to finish the final thought, I think what we can do is by the end of the charity stream, let's say by the end of the charity stream, all right, the 40 hours is up, boys. We're going to cash everything out. Um, you know, we, we've got our hullet now and we've got an extra 8 million coins. What I think we can do to keep the series viable is we get rid of everything and whatever coins we have left. Let's say we have hullet, these bronzes, nothing left in the club to start the series on the Monday, on October 12th or whatever it is where the series would start. Let's say we do have all of this ready to go, nothing in the club and 12 million coins or nine other million coins. What we can do is we basically just go buy whatever the most expensive icon is as a placeholder, almost as like a bank savings. Because this is the poor man rude to glory, what we're essentially doing is we're making use of those useless old FIFA points and, and hopefully you guys, this makes sense to you. What we'll be doing is we'll be having the Hullet, but then we'll, having a, we'll have an R9 sitting in the club that I bought buy for 8 million or whatever it is. And the reason for that is once his uh, moments card comes out, we'll, we'll hopefully be able to just upgrade to him. So it will still be the poor man rude to glory, except we'll trade out the 90 for his 94 plus whatever else we've achieved on the account, but that will be the direct replacement. So I won't have to use any of the coins or players that I've generated through the grind of the poor man road to glory. We'll be able to just see, okay, we've got this team, we've got this Hullet and we've got a million coins, but now there's the moments, the moments Hullet out right now. So what we then go do is we go sell that player that we've invested in. Hopefully the sale of that player and the sale of this Hullet then allows us to get that moments Hullet without touching um, anything at all in the team. Does that make sense? So I hope that makes sense. Um, and, and once again, that is really the only way a poor man, no FIFA point road to glory would come back for the start of the game. So let me know your thoughts. Do you like that idea? Smash the like button. If you do fill in the comments section, let me know. Talk to me on Twitter at Nick 20 T talk to me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Nick 20 T. Um, or are you of uh, what I feel like a lot of people on Twitch are where you like me just running an ultimate road to glory, where we basically just do whatever the hell we want with the rich man funding and all of that stuff. And then team of the season, the strict only rule is no FIFA points. Poor man road to glory comes out for team of the season day one. Um, let me know your thoughts. Look, uh, I know over the last couple of days I've been saying like, I really want to enjoy myself. I, I do which is why I'm having this as a stipulation and I'm not just starting a no FIFA point poor man because I do, I want one player. Someone like, whether it's a Ronaldinho or a, or a Cruyff or a Hullet, a player that I know is going to be in my team all year long anyways. And at least if I'm sitting there grinding my nuts off for 10 hours a day trying to build up a poor man account, at least when I go play a game with all my garbage players, at least I've got a Hullet in the team. Or at least I've got a Johan Cruyff in the team. Or at least i got a, a Dino in the team, right? It, it, it it gives me that one little bit of enjoyment where I'm playing this game 10 hours a day. I still want to have some fun instead of for the first month, I'm opening bronze packs for six hours straight. And that's another thing. If the poor man's coming back, I don't know if like that level of grind is going to be there either. I don't know if I'm going to be putting 15 hours a day onto a poor man road to glory. You know, I just, I don't want to hate this game. I want to enjoy the grind, but I also want to enjoy the, just the, the, the fun of the game. So either way, those are my final thoughts. I should have ended this, this, this video or this discussion ages ago. I guess I love you. Um, what might end up happening here is depending on the positivity or the, the, the overall reaction to this video, you guys might not see any videos until after the charity stream. Uh, once the charity stream is done, like I said, if this video gets the positivity, then the poor man, uh, player focus road to glory, whoever that may be, 
starts on the Monday of, well, let, let's give you an exact date of the next video from this one on the 12th. So you, we, we might be going uh, exactly seven days with absolutely no content at the launch of FIFA for my YouTube channel. But I want to get a true understanding from you guys what you want to see. So I'll leave you with that. God bless you all. I love you. Um, I hope we can have a good year and I'll be positive while also having a good year. And uh, until I guess the 12th, whether on the 12th we start up the ultimate road to glory again from episode six or seven onwards, or we start the poor man, rude to glory or Dino to glory. Either way, I'll see you guys on the 12th of October. God bless you all. Wish me luck on the charity stream for cancer research. It's our sixth annual. You might not see anything on YouTube, but October 9th, to the 11th, if you want to hang out, twitch.tv slash nick 28 We're going to be doing everything we can to raise as much money as possible for cancer research for yet another year. We'll catch you on the flip side. Fuck cancer. Peace!